Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Today we have CJ, a crypto analyst from MarketRebellion.com. We'll be going through all the various different uh, chart features and functions uh, that they have on their charts over there at marketrebellion.com. Um, we know a lot of you are also members over there and like to use this feature specifically for your TA needs uh, in conjunction with sentiment analysis. So without further ado, I'll let CJ do the work. Yeah, thanks for the opportunity to showcase the charting platform. Alex, we're getting a lot more overlap uh, within our communities. So it's uh, really nice to see that. But if you don't know what Market Rebels Crypto is, it is a community of beginning to advanced traders all throughout the world. And we provide you guys with trade insights, trade ideas, as well as our macro portfolio and uh, trading education curriculum. We're adding new TA courses and uh, dropping them about once a month is what we're going to shoot for. As you can see here, this is our interface. Uh, as well as a mobile app. And if you want to uh, you know, get access to this charting service, it's marketrebellion.com slash crypto. You can go there and sign up today for just a dollar and see all the cool features that uh, I'm about to get to. Uh, but without further ado, I will head to the Rebellion Ops Center. So this is gonna be the first page that you land at in your crypto subscription right here. And in order to launch the uh, platform, you just go ahead and uh, hit the platform feature here. Over here on your right hand side, we can see we have our portfolio, trade insights, member webinars that we do, and uh, education and a few more items that you can check out. But going down to the platform here, uh, you'll see that we have three primary modules. We have the chart module on the left here, we have the market watch panel uh, right in the side here. And then finally, we have the rebel chat where you can ask uh, Monty and myself questions. Uh, we like to publish a lot of interesting analysis and some of, about our views on the market in here. So uh, you can check that out. These are of course collapsible. So you just click them on the side and uh, we'll get into the first module here, which is the chart. So I've got some lines on Bitcoin, but I, I want to go to a, a chart with not so many because I want to show you guys how to draw some of these support and resistance levels. Um, now, first, you will uh, notice that we have our search bar up here in the top left. You click that, can search for a variety of assets. All of our data is coming from Voyager brokerage. So we have all of the assets that are on Voyager. And anytime a new asset is listed on Voyager, automatically included into our data set here so you can do TA on it. So pretty cool stuff there. Um, these buy and sell buttons, uh, when Voyager has their full desktop platform uh, fully operational, when you click these buy or sell buttons, they will take you from the Market Rebellion platform directly to Voyager for trade execution. Um, so while we cannot provide or guarantee trade execution. We looked at Voyager's trade execution and we're very favorable towards it. Um, so we encourage you guys to check them out. Also, you can earn interest on your coins, uh, up to 7% interest on Bitcoin. So make sure to check that out on Voyager Crypto Brokerage. Um, now heading over here to the right side of the chart, you can see that we have our time frames. Currently, I'm on the, one, uh, the four hour. But as you can see, we have monthly, weekly, and uh, daily time frames as well. So I'm going to switch to the daily right here. Um, I already have uh, the sequential indicator on currently. Uh, I will remove that though. So the way to go to the indicators, um, or they're referred to as studies on our chart, you go to this uh, symbol up in the top right, click that, and you can see I have the TD sequential indicator on. So I'm going to remove that to start. And uh, you know, you just type or you can filter through, but we have a variety of over 50 indicators um, that you can just click and drag right onto the chart like that. And then there's uh, quite a bit of customization that you can go through different colors as well, but I'll save that and add it to the chart as you can see. Um, so that's essentially how you add indicators onto the chart. You can use up to five at once which is pretty cool. Trading view only allows you to do three in their free version. They also don't have a perfected TD sequential indicator as well. So those are a, a couple advantages we have over them. Um, now moving to the drawing tools here, you can see that we have uh, trend lines, price lines, uh, timelines, Fibonacci retracements. We have a variety of indicators that you can choose from. Um, 
But the way in which I draw support and resistance levels is you try to pick a level that's flat here, of course, that multiple uh, points have either been rejected or now form supports on the opposite side. So when you see uh, you know, these candles that are hitting this 33 cent level and they're unable to get above it uh, and it takes a couple tries, well, then that means that we formed a, uh, a decent support level here. If you double click, uh, you'll bring up some, some options on that. Uh, I always, you know, I try to change the, uh, the price display and, and the colors to something that I like. I like this one down here, so all good. Um, and then uh, we have some really nice aesthetics when it comes to drawing Fibonacci retracements. Uh, math is beautiful, guys. It really is. I'm about to show you why. Um, but uh, this isn't a, a perfect Fibonacci, but I'll just show you what it looks like. Um, and then, of course, you have a ton of customization in here that you can choose from to make the chart exactly how you want it. So that is the essence of the uh, drawing tools and studies and how to add them onto the uh, platform. But we also have a couple different ways in which you can display price data. So for instance, right now, what I'm using is just the default, which is candlesticks. But you can also choose to just use a line, you know, say you like things a little bit more minimalistic or, uh, you know, you, you're a little more old school. I know the old school cats like the uh, bar charts. That's what they tell me anyways. And then uh, finally here, um, this was one per my request. Uh, it was the Heikinashi candles. These calculate the data a little bit differently. And so it smooths it out within the candles. Uh, but the Heikinashis are interesting and, and I will use those in certain situations. Um, so that's pretty much it with the uh, price data. Um, then finally, we have settings here. Uh, one thing, if you guys jump in that I do like to use, I choose about 30 bars of padding to the right side. I think that's kind of optimal when you want to use these drawing tools to extrapolate trends going into the future. And then uh, we finally have the uh, multiple chart capabilities. Um, let me just refresh that. But you have the ability to use up to four charts, just like this simultaneously, which is really cool. Um, I'll go ahead and add the watermark as well. It kind of helps with visibility, but you can see we have, you know, we're charting Bitcoin on multiple time frames. And uh, the cool thing is that there are a lot of different synchronization settings. So for instance, you can synchronize the uh, instrument, which is just the asset. So I have that checked here, which means Bitcoin's being showed across uh, all charts. Um, the chart type just refers to how the data is displayed. So like what I said before, it's either a price line, um, candles, Heikinashi candles, or those bar charts. Um, the time frame and range just means the time frame, one hour, you know, one week, et cetera. And then appearance, um, which is just, you know, the, the color of the graph. So one thing that I didn't get into in our chart settings is that you can actually change the, the color of the candles um, you can change, you know, the color of the lines, bars, uh, and the background of the chart. So there's a, a lot of customization in here. And we do have, you know, a lot of good uh, advantages when compared to the just default TradingView uh, subscription model. TradingView does not provide you with a perfected sequential indicator. It does not provide you with multiple charting capabilities. Um, so, you know, there's some, some nice uh, things there. Uh, but that's pretty much it, Alex. Um, you know, you guys can check this out for just a dollar by going to marketrebellion.com slash crypto. And, you know, it's not just the chart, you know, you get, uh, you get also the market watch panel where you have the ability to set price alerts. Uh, so I'll set an alert here on Bitcoin. Um, you can also see your triggered and previous alerts. Uh, if you look at the kind of notification bell up in that right hand corner. Yep. See, we just got hit. And uh, those are push notifications on the mobile app as well. So uh, you'll have those alerts if you want to set them. But uh, yeah, pretty much it, Alex. Thank you for the opportunity to showcase how the chart works. And uh, I hope you guys go and check out marketrebellion.com slash crypto because we got a lot of new stuff in the works. And uh, we're very excited to have you. So thank you. 
Thank you, folks, for joining us. I hope you enjoyed navigating your way around the Market Rebellion chart, and hopefully this helps you uh, select and choose your features that are most useful to you um, with a robust uh, array that they have. CJ, thank you once again, and you can find them over at marketrebellion.com.